afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Inside Egypt, where we bring you the latest reports from and around the nation. Let's take a short break and get back to this episode. President Abdel Fattah Sisi arrives on Thursday in the Ethiopian capital Addis Ababa to attend the 24th African Union Summit due to be held on Friday and Saturday. The Sisi is expected to hold a number of bilateral meetings with his African counterparts on issues of mutual concern. The story. In the African summit in Ethiopia on Friday, the theme of this year's summit is the year on women empowerment and development towards Africa's agenda. The African Union will officially endorse Egypt's bid to become a non-permanent member at the UN Security Council for the period 2016-17. Egyptian Foreign Minister Salma Shukri announced this endorsement will be officially announced in the 24th African Union summit. Shukri revealed that Cairo's bed has been approved during the meeting of the African Foreign Ministers, meaning that Egypt is the official North African candidate for the non-permanent seat. Egypt first expressed its wish for a non-permanent seat last September during President Abdel Fattah Hizizi's speech in front of the UN General Assembly. Egypt's Foreign Minister was in Ethiopia ahead of President al Sisi's visit to attend the summit. The minister met with his Ethiopian counterpart on Tuesday to discuss possible talks points for the meeting between the Egyptian president and Ethiopia's premier. Shokri and his Algerian counterpart also held talks on boosting the two countries. The Algerian minister for his part said that contacts are sustained between the two countries on the agenda of the summit. Foreign Minister Sam Shukri also held lengthy talks with Libyan Foreign Minister in Ethiopia. Shukri said that Egypt is coordinating with the UN envoy to Libya to achieve success in putting an end to violence and terrorism and reaching a solution to the current political crisis there. Prime Minister Ray Mahmoud inaugurated on Wednesday the 46th round of the Cairo International Book Fair. Now TV's Linda Abdel Latif has more details in the following report. Prime Minister Engineer Ibrahim Mahlab has inaugurated the 46th round of the Cairo International Book Fair. This round is held under the slogan Culture and Innovation and will be taking place from the 28th of January till the 12th of February. The fair is held with the participation of 26 countries and around 850 publishers. The inauguration was attended as well by a number of ministers and ambassadors. We should make hold of the knowledge in books because they are the key to the future. There are a lot of new things this year. We are having the Asbakaya market. The Ministry of Culture decided that all the available books are to be sold at the lowest prices to give the youth and the readers the chance to buy what they want. Also, the family library this year is very different. It has a higher budget this year and has a wide variety of collections, including Muhammad Abdul's books. It is very uplifting to have all those participating countries and ambassadors. It shows that we have regained stability. We have here nine halls. Each one holds four cultural and entertainment activities daily, besides the other activities of the publishers. So we will be having a huge number of activities in this fair. Nineteen Arab countries and seven non-Arab countries are participating in this fair, with Saudi Arabia being the guest of honor for this year. Saudi Arabia's fair is the biggest fair participating in the Cairo International Book Fair. And as our choice as a guest of honor, that goes back to many reasons. Firstly, because Saudi Arabia is rich in education and culture. And secondly, because in the era of King Abdullah, Saudi Arabia has excelled in the cultural field. The Cairo International Book Fair is one of the biggest fairs in the world, drawing hundreds of booksellers from around the globe and attracting millions of visitors each year. And with such huge participation, the fair is considered a melting pot for the exchange of cultures and ideas. Linda Abdel Latif, to the International.
The 46th round of the Cairo International Book Fair is held under the slogan of culture and innovation. A fair has begun with a cultural program influenced by calls to a new religious discourse. Cairo International Book Fair, which opened on Wednesday, echoes calls by President Abu Fattah Sisi for the renewal of religious discourse in Egypt. Reformist Imam Muhammad Abdul was chosen to be the first person of the year. The intellectual meeting section of the fair has devoted 11 out of 12 talks to different aspects of religious reform. The fair was historically known for hosting a varied and rich cultural programs and this year the fair is regaining its reputation by hosting renowned Arab and international thinkers, something that it has lacked during the past few years. The culture program this year will host many renowned thinkers, including Egyptian philosopher Hassan Hanafi, Syrian poet, Adonis, Lebanese thinker, Ali Harb, Tunisian thinker, Raja bin Salama, French journalist, Alan Grish, and Egyptian thinker, Abdi Gawad Yassin. 26 countries will participate at this year's event, including 19 Arab and 7 non-Arab. There will be 850 publishers, including 550 from Egypt, 250 Arab and 50 non-Arab. As Bakia market for second-hand books will have 100 kiosks. Last year, 24 countries participated, 17 Arab and 7 non-Arab. There were 755 publishers, 518 from Egypt, 210 Arab and 27 non-Arab. And the fair's theme was culture and identity. The Ministry of Culture will offer a big discount on all of its publications. The fair will be open daily from 10 a.m. till 7 p.m. for book selling and unit until 9 p.m. for cultural events. An initiative to support the growth of startups in the field of information technology was launched by the Minister of Communications and Information Technology recently. Tonkin aims at empowering young people in terms of creativity and entrepreneurship for mobile applications. Saad Talawi has more. The Mission Technology Art of Henry launched the Tonkin Initiative aimed at supporting entrepreneurship in collaboration with Google at a conference held Sunday morning at the Ministry's Smart Village headquarters. The Tonkin Initiative is aimed at empowering young people in terms of creativity and entrepreneurship for mobile applications, furthering the abilities of Egyptian youth to develop and mobile applications. The initiative will also practically support the growth of startups in the field of information technology and create opportunities for youth in this field. Definitely meeting with our uh, young generation uh, is always inspiring, it's always encouraging for both of us, either for them to know more about the sector, about uh, the priorities and so on, and about the chances as well of getting uh, jobs after they graduate. And at the same time, it's very important for me to get a feeling about how the new generation is thinking, what are their top priorities, and uh, how we can really help them to achieve their, their dreams. Another goal of the project includes enhancing developers' skills and training them on the most up-to-date technology available in global markets and providing competitive workforce. The project will also maximize the benefit from the volume of work expected in this industry to promote the spread of mobile phone and application culture in the Arab world. Henry said that the small and medium seized enterprises are the backbone of the economy and thus must be focused on the coming period. From our track record of success, the, the, the percentage of employment just before graduation is in the range of 80 percent from, from 8 to 85 percent and this is this is uh, I, I believe is a great percentage to have especially that this is a, a young generation coming with no experience whatsoever and despite this fact uh, they get approximately 85 percent of employment this is a great great percentage. The Tenki initiative includes a set of programs that aim to provide 2,000 training scholarships for online learning in the field of application development. The initiative will provide specialized Egyptian trainers for supervision and guidance and a number of professional events are planned to be held in order for the youth to meet with innovators, 
to raise investors in those working in the mobile application. This will help you find work opportunities or for partnerships and alliances. This is Sahara Talani reporting for Live International. Minister of Supply and Internal Trade Khaled Hanafi and the Canadian Minister of Foreign Trade signed a memorandum.